Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I'm going to be going over the three new characters that we are getting drip marketed for patch 2.5 I believe. I, I believe this is 2.5. Um, I'm very excited for this. It, we actually have three characters for the first time in a while. So it's going to be nice to have one finally. Even though in my opinion something that I'm going to say in this video whenever we get to talking about one of the characters is going to be kind of negative towards four stars, but I still think that they have a place in the game for newer people that jump in, right? Um, and even some of them still have a place in the game. Like for me personally, QQ is still my main quantum damage character until they add a destruction one, most likely, right? Because I didn't pull for Jade either. And on top of that, there's Ting Yun. Um, there's Gallagher, which, you know, spoiler alert, um, about to get domed here right so we have Fei Zhao first um another furry another another uh furry eared friend from the Zhangjua Lufo or Zhangjua Lufo um she is a wind hunt character so Fei Zhao wind hunt character um me personally I am still not convinced that hunt characters are all that incredible I think Boot Hill is great but Overall, in my opinion, you know, hunt characters, they still leave a lot to be desired. I, I need to see a hunt character that I truly believe in to actually start believing in hunt characters, right? All right, so Fei Zhao comes in as the first five-star hunt wind. That's pretty cool. Um, overall, design, I do really like Fei Zhao. Um, I think that she is very, very good looking. Very good looking. Um, I'm excited to see what her kit does. But overall, I'm going to be saving for this next character that's coming out here. And this character, a lot of people are saying it looks like kind of like a reskin of Sparkle. I can definitely see where people are getting that impression and where people are seeing that. Unfortunately for them, there's one very important thing that they're not realizing. Where are the hogs? Where are the hot diggity dogs? They're not out. Uh, this character has shoes on, therefore is absolutely nothing like Sparkle. Okay. Ling Sha. Ling Sha is the new Fire Abundance character. The last Abundance character we got was, I mean, if if I'm not mistaken, the last five star one was Whoa Whoa. And that just seems like forever ago. I don't know if anybody else just feels like that's forever ago, but that literally to me feels like absolutely forever ago. If I'm going to be honest, if you built Gallagher because you felt it necessary for the meta strength of your break effect team, I'm here to tell you that you are kind of an idiot. I, I'm just going to say it. If you build them because you like them, that's one thing. That's perfectly fine. If you built them because meta break team, that was a stupid move. In this game, especially four stars, you can, you can say the same thing for five stars, but it is a lot less egregious. If you put a ton of resources into a four star because it's it seems good in meta, I think that that is absolutely a stupid decision. If what I'm hearing, if the, if the Tweety Birds are right, if my dreams have been correct, Ling Sha is also going to be a massive part of meta break teams. She is going to be the meta break sustain character that is just going to straight up directly power creep him. I mean, that's really all I have to say about that. Link is coming out. Very, very excited about that. I am glad I didn't put a single drop of resources into Gallagher. I'm just going to go for Lingsha. Let's finally talk about this four star. This four star that we have not been getting recently. I'm pretty excited for Moe's. I really like this. Whoops. I really like this dark assassin look. I think it's pretty badass. Is going to be a lightning hunt character. So, unfortunately, I do actually believe that this character, although it's filling a gap that has never been, you know, filled before in, you know, a lightning hunt character. This is the first lightning hunt character we have in the game. It's it's great for people who are just starting out, unless he is especially he has to be a certain level of insane to at this point in the game's lifespan actually be someone worth investing into for people who have played the game for a decent amount of time. If I was a brand new player, Serval is probably a better option than Moe's, depending on what Moe's does, right? I would, I would imagine that Serval, though, is still a better option. I, I still have yet to see a hunt character that truly impresses me. Um, Boot Hill was definitely the closest so far, um, and he's the most recent, so hey, if they're, if they're introducing Fei Zhao now, 
If they're introducing two more hunt characters very shortly after giving um releasing Boot Hill and releasing Apocalyptic Shadow, I really hope that during this patch, whatever um Apocalyptic Shadow comes out is actually completely single target. I know that some creators, uh Tectone would be one of them, has come out, you know, saying that like it's very frustrating that w whatever mode comes out nowadays is just curated to whatever new character came out. So it really forces you to want to pull on that character. Um, and sometimes if you don't have that character, you just straight up can't beat it. Um, I don't think that the second half of that is completely true. I don't think it makes it completely unbeatable, but you definitely do have to try like 10 times harder than anybody else who did pull for that character and got them. Thank you all for watching. Uh, this is what the chart looks like now.